Welcome back to Theme Park Blizzard, and today I'm going to discuss what I think is really going on with Critter Country based on what I've heard from rumors and uh, just my speculation. So let's go ahead and let's dive right into this next nice subject. All right, so Disneyland is going undergoing uh, our credit country is going undergoing a major renovation, and on Monday, the whole thing will be closed even more, like you know, the bridge to Galaxy's Edge, like the David Crocker canoes, all that good stuff will be just totally shut off. It'll be a dead end between Fantasmic, just like between Haunted Mansion and you know, Theon's by Adventure. That whole area will be a dead end, basically, if you're just going over there to ride the Pirates or have a Fantasmic viewing area. Everything will be closed now. Obviously, Tiana's by Adventure is, is a major reason why, and they're doing the new, the new gift shops and everything. But also, I've heard that they're taking this opportunity to go ahead and kind of widen the walkways and kind of prep for Disneyland Ford expansion. This does not mean a, a Disneyland Ford uh, land. Land will be going and being constructed in Disneyland Ford in that expansion pad anytime soon. But it does mean that they're using this um, time to go ahead and kind of prep for that, which is good because it's using, they're using, you know, it's kind of spreading the budget around even, right? It's not like one big Disneyland Ford project, right? They're using some of this project's budget to kind of enhance prep for Disneyland Ford, spreads the money around. And it gives uh, leaves even more money for uh, expansion. You really focus on the details there. And let me show you what I'm talking about right here on the screen. Um, let's go ahead and share the screen and let's look at Disneyland Park. So this is Disneyland Park right now as it cur currently stands. We have Haunted Mansion right over here. We have Splash Mountain right over here. Which is Tiana's. And this whole area is closed. All right. So from starting... starting Monday, July 8th, this whole area from here through here will be closed all the way to Galaxy's Edge. And you, know, you won't get to the Baby Crockett Canoes um, and all that, all that stuff. Tom Sawyer Island will be able to get to, but all this will be closed. Now, here's this pathway. This is, will be the eventual connection uh, via, via Pedestrian Bridge to Disneyland Ford's expansion plot, which is right here, this this whole thing right here. So I've heard, and we'll, we'll watch this when it reopens, but I've heard they're taking this opportunity to widen these walkways here at Critter Country from here, because they're, see what they are now, are not the biggest, they're just, you know, just not expecting a lot of traffic, right? And a lot of people aren't going to, people are just going to Winnie the Pooh, these gift shops, or formerly Splash Mountain. Now, a whole bunch of people will be crossing this road, going through these backstage areas, crossing this land drive onto whatever land goes here. So they are taking the opportunity, rumored, to expand these walkways and kind of prep it for Disneyland Ford, um, which is very, very cool. Um, very exciting stuff here. And here's an idea of what is closed on July 8th or... This is as far as the calendar goes out. It's August 16th, I believe. Let's go ahead and share that. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. Pooh Corner, Hungry Bear Restaurant, which is also getting you know, a, a kitchen extension. Permits were filed for a kitchen extension and refurbishment there, which is good. Um, the Critical Country Food Cart, Pooh Corner, Briar Patch, Disney and Monorail, Railroad, Davy Crockett's. No. Four Canoes, Space Mountain, Winnie the Pooh, Haunted Mansion, Disney Gallery, and Disney uh, Land Story Printing, uh, Mr. Lincoln. Now, for these two, this is very important as well. Disneyland Railroad will be closed also to that Critter Country uh, construction right there. There'll be, um, does you need the railroad to really go ahead and then they're going to go ham while riding these walkways and really doing a lot of work. For Tiana's Bay Adventure, as well as prepping for Disneyland Ford. 
the Disneyland Monroe will be closing because they're going to be working on that backside of Parkside Market. If you watch Fresh Bakes Construction Updates, he usually gives a shot from the Monroe from the Parkside Market and Dis down to Disney Construction. But yeah, they're going to need to close the Monroe for a little bit to go ahead and really finish off the Parkside Market, that backside area there, um, because they can't work too close to the monorail beam because it's a little bit too dangerous uh, to have the monorail operating operating while they're working that close. So expect the monorail to be down for a little bit there. And that means Parkside Market should be finishing up and maybe at G23, G23 we get a nice opening date for that, maybe in this, this November. We'll see. Um, and Disneyland Railroad obviously will be closed for not just for Critter Hunter, but I also believe for uh, Honda Mansion, right? The, the walls extend right up to the Disneyland Railroad track, and they are going ahead and they're fixing, they're still working on the cast member break room that was damaged to fire. I'm sure they'll take this closure and really knock both those things out. They'll work on Critter Country, Honda Mansion, and that cast member break room. So lots going down for Disneyland, but I do think that... Um, it's really yeah, prepping for something bigger, like Space Mountain, for example. Uh, the Tomorrowland thing keeps going on and off. Is it back on? Is it back on? I think Disney definitely wants to do something with Tomorrowland. They had a plan. Kind of got pulled at the last minute. There was really supposed to be an announcement before the last D23 Expo. I feel like maybe they rejiggered it. Got some sort of Tomorrowland plan back on the table. I feel like the Space Mountain renovation, just like the Creative Country um, renovation, is kind of a prelude to that. The Creative Country is a prelude to Disneyland Forward. I feel like Space Mountain is a prelude to um, a bigger Tomorrowland renovation. But, you know, <laughs> those are just my, those are based off rumors and based off my own speculation. Because I do, yeah. Think about it. Disneyland, finally out in Disneyland, Florida approved. Out in Florida, they have, they settled with the CTFOD and the Florida government. So they have, you know, Disney really had government hurdles on both sides, and now they don't anymore. So I think they're ready to really finally go ahead and, and push ahead with some construction projects. They keep saying they committed all these billions and billions of dollars, you know, over the next decade or whatever. The parks, so, you know, they know they have to, like, you know, step up. They know they have to prove it. Um, so I believe this expo is going to be very good. I'll be doing a live stream, so please stay tuned for that on uh, the Parks panel um, in August, August 10th. And I will be doing, following this very closely. When it gets cooler outside, I'll be definitely doing more, more than instruction updates, and I'll be looking for permits every single day. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Critter Country is this is uh, prep for Disneyland Ford and the Space Mountain is prep for a Tomorrowland renovation? Let me know in the comments below and hey, make sure to follow the social media and go ahead and you can join our Patreon to check out. I post all the permits there, the weekly Disneyland permit updates. I'll be doing one. I'm posting it on this Monday as well, July 8th. So join the Patreon for that. And you can also become a YouTube member if you want to help support the channel. Yeah, great channel perks, early access to videos like this one, and um, more. So stay tuned for that. And if you're trying to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe as well. As always, have a fantastic day. Exciting times for Disneyland. Get ready.